Hello, it's me, Nate Carlson, and today we're going to talk about circadian rhythms. Why is sleep difficult after traveling to another time zone? What makes the rooster crow? Do you always feel sleepy on the bus ride home? These things are the result of circadian rhythms. Let's look into the intricacies of this powerful bodily mechanism. The circadian rhythm is a biological clock that is based on the 24-hour daily cycle. It's called a biological clock because it's literally inside of us. It is a complex system of nerves and connections in the brain that controls specific physical and mental aspects of ourselves. Of ourselves. Physically, many aspects of our bodies are controlled. Just to list a few, the lowest body temperature occurs at 4.30 in the morning. 6.45 in the morning is your sharpest increase in blood pressure. Later, your blood pressure is highest at 6.30 at night, and 30 minutes afterwards is your highest body temperature at 7 o'clock. The most important function that circadian rhythm controls is the release of melatonin, a hormone critical to inducing sleep. It is released from the pineal gland. While most of its release occurs at night, there's actually some released around 2 p.m. This is the reason why it's easy to fall asleep on bus rides home. Without physical activity or stimulation, the body falls victim to the melatonin and you become sleepy. There are also mental mechanisms that the circadian rhythm controls. While not easily detectable in humans, it is easier to demonstrate the effect on animals. The rooster is a classic example of this. Their circadian rhythm makes them more inclined to crow in the morning. But wait! Look at the time! You know what time it is! It's... Q time. The circadian rhythm is affected by numerous external cues, although the most influential one is exposure to sunlight. It gives your body a clue about whether it's day or night. However, external cues are not absolutely necessary to maintain the circadian rhythm. This is because it has internal cues from the master clock in this super chiasmatic nucleus located in the hypothalamus. This master clock keeps track of time and steers a circadian rhythm, keeping it on a 24-hour cycle even in the absence of external cues. Interestingly enough, even plants have a circadian rhythm. Prayer plants, for example, will contract their leaves inwards during night, even when moved somewhere without light. But as you know, the circadian rhythm isn't always in top shape. Sometimes your cycle can get out of whack the effects ranging from merely inconvenient to becoming a chronic impairment, or leading to other disorders that can change the rest of your life. On the minor end of the spectrum is jet lag. For people who have flown in planes before, you know the feeling, drowsiness, disorientation, and difficulty sleeping. Due to the effects of crossing time zones, your circadian rhythm has to abandon its previous time zone and recalibrate to a new one which can take a few days. While this ailment is not very notable, it does demonstrate the flexibility of our body's biology. Another problem stemming from a problematic circadian rhythm is delete sleep phase syndrome, which is common in adolescents and young adults. Essentially, what happens is that the individual with the disorder has their sleep schedule shifted a couple hours forward. Instead of sleeping at 10 and waking at 6, the subject can't sleep until 12 and wakes at 8. On its own, it is not a major problem, but it becomes an obstacle when things like school or a job require waking early, resulting in an unproductive morning and sleep deprivation. People with this disorder typically feel most productive in the late hours and cannot sleep until midnight or later. Current theories suggest that changes during puberty make individuals more vulnerable to shifts in their circadian rhythm. Exposure to blue light from electronic screens also simulates sunlight which may trick the rhythm into thinking that it is daytime when it is actually night. One of the most dangerous disorders, shift work disorder, sadly has a significant presence in our society, despite how harmful it is. Essentially, having to work shifts that interfere with your circadian rhythm causes a whole bunch of sleep problems, including insomnia, drowsiness, severely reduced productivity, and mood disorders. Additionally, Excessive sleepiness causes a phenomenon called micro-sleeping, which is when an individual falls asleep for only a couple seconds. In dangerous jobs like construction or shop work, this is incredibly dangerous 
and contributes to many workplace accidents. Physical problems can also affect the circadian rhythm. Brain trauma and tumors are capable of harming the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which results in much of the body's different rhythms becoming desynced. The body is forced to rely solely on external cues to indicate the time, which is very susceptible to disruption. It's very rare to have damage to the suprachiasmatic nucleus, so its specific effects are not very well known at this time. Well, there it is. I've exhausted all my information on circadian rhythms. Next time, we'll talk about a much darker subject. Egg politics. Goodbye.